Dear friends, biblical message is quite unequivocal and resolute. When you look up to the heavens and see the sun, the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, do not be led astray and bow down to them and serve them. That's from Deuteronomy. Worship of heavenly bodies and, for that matter, any astrology were strictly forbidden. But then, prophet Isaiah takes us in an exactly opposite direction. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created all of that. The one who brings out the host of stars in full number, calling them all by name. Because of his great strength and mighty power, not a single one is missing. Well, on the surface it looks quite orthodox. It looks just like a celebration of Creator, of the splendid and awesome nightly sky. No problem, no conflict there, until we realize that the prophet describes God Yahweh, Hebrew God, using well-known attributes of the moon god Yarich. Behind the prophet's words is the mythical image of a moon god leading out each evening the flock of stars like a shepherd. That was the peaceful version of that mythical image. Or like a king leading his heavenly army to war. That would be a more bellicose image. And Isaiah is not the only place where it appears in the Bible. The same mythical image appears also in the Psalm 147. The Lord determines the number of the stars. God calls all of them out by their names. In Isaiah, or in the Psalm, Moon God Yarich is never mentioned by name. But Yahweh is eloquently described as the Moon God. And that is not any lunacy. There clearly was a time when God Yahweh was merged or fused with the Moon God Yarich and took over many of Yarich's attributes and functions. And this biblical fusion of God Yahweh with the Moon God Yarich, that is something you might not know about the Bible. This Sunday we will observe what it might mean for our faith. Not a lunacy, but rather we can draw inspiration from our predecessors and ancestors. Seek justice in our own turbulent times. And draw encouragement and hope for the future generations. Join us this Sunday for worship.